Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstration about installing an Ubuntu 12.04 desktop in an Ubuntu LAMP server. LAMP server basically is a server that's running Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP or Python. The outcome of this server, the first thing is outcome is I need to warn you that installing desktop in a server decreases server reliability. You've got much more software involved and makes a server less reliable and it increases server accessibility which means that it's easier for other people to get into your server. Now one reason why you may want to do install a server is you may have some development work for example creating web pages and want to see how they run inside the Apache server. Um, that might be a reason or you just may want to have for your own sake just play around with the server with a desktop just to see what's you know how everything's working. So let's go ahead and do it. And in order to start, we'll review the repositories in it set in the etc. sources sources list file using a nano text editor. The repositories are where Ubuntu gets all its uh, update and upgrading files and uh, where you can install extra software. Once we review those, we'll install a full Ubuntu desktop. Once that's done, uh, because this I'm running a virtual box, a, a virtual machine inside virtual box, I'm going to install guest editions. This will not be something that you have to do if you're running on hardware or using another type of virtual machine. And once that's done, I'm going to update the desktop, reboot the system, verify the install simply by pointing the uh, browser at the Apache uh, uh, at the Apache web server. Requirements here, we're running, running Ubuntu uh, Server 12.04 LTS, the internet connection. And you've got some memory requirements, uh, Ubuntu Server plus a desktop. And my recommendation is you need some six, 768 megabytes of memory at least. Additional info, uh, Ubuntu Geek's got some additional info on how to install GUIs and also some lightweight GUIs besides uh, just a full install, which I'm demonstrating. To install the Ubuntu desktop, we have to make sure that the universe and the multiverse repositories are available to Ubuntu server. In order to do this, we'll log in. First, highlight, then log in. Once we're logged in, we're going to change to the directory etc apt do an ls and we're going to open up this sources.list file and we're going to open up for writing using the nano text editor sudo nano sources.list now here is the number is basically means a comment and the repositories that are available are precise main restricted precise main restricted and you'll notice down here we have the universe repository and you notice down here we have the Ubuntu, I'm sorry the multiverse repository And if we want to have like a precise partner uh, repository or maybe a third party repository, all we have to do is well, let's let's add the third party. Uh, depends on yourself how you want to do this. And whoops, not that line. Let's go down here where it says Deb and third parties and basically uh, this software is not part of Ubuntu but is offered by third party developers who want to ship their latest software since we're going to be using this as a desktop and it's up to you whether you want to uh, whether you're going to be using third party or not but as I said before this will make your Ubuntu server a little bit less secure but you've already got a lot of uh, 
and less reliable, but you've already adding a, a number of items. So to write this out, control O for write out. And it says file name to write sources list. And we just hit enter and wrote six, six lines. And so we'll now control X to exit. And so the next thing we're going to have to do is do a grab a list of all these files that the repository has added. And so we're going to do a sudo apt-get update, and that grabs, oops, spelled that wrong, sorry, apt-get update, and it grabs all the files that are available now. Of course, we'll come back when uh, everything's loaded. Uh, so now let's do an upgrade. So app get upgrade. And then the next thing after the upgrade is we're going to install the uh, desktop. Okay, so I guess it's fully upgraded. So let's do a sudo app get install ubuntu dash desktop and this is going to take quite a while uh, so come back when it's fully installed now that the desktop has been installed let's reboot the machine sudo reboot and we'll go into the desktop and here we are at the desktop login screen now this is a uh, virtual machine running in a virtual box so I'm going to have to, before I go any further, I'm going to have to install guest editions. If, you don't, if you're not running in VirtualBox, this is a step you don't have to do. Uh, you'll notice that we've got the entire uh, yeah, you know, screens. Uh, I'm sorry. You, you'll notice we got the entire uh, menus. And we're going to run VirtualBox here. Ask for authentication. Guest editions, it'll run here real quickly. And then uh, I'm going to reboot again. And then do an, another update using the update manager inside the uh, desktop. Okay, VirtualBox Desk Edition has been installed. Uh, let's make sure that uh, I'm going to remove the disk from Virtual Drive. Force unmount. And shut down. Restart. Now, after VirtualBox Editions, screen comes back different size and if you want to go to system settings and adjust your display you've got some choices here that you can use but what we'll do here is we're going to go to the update manager just type in update. We'll use the update manager and it will come up with a list of updates available. 
and I always like to use the check because I've found that some problems with install the if you just use install update sometimes it hangs up but I'll just use the check first and then the install updates once the uh, check has been done click on install updates and again it's going to take a little while to get uh, this done Again, you have to authenticate. Okay, so now uh, updates have been installed. Restart. Once the server is restarted, we'll verify uh, that the server part is still operating. By, because this is a LAMP server, it's got Apache running. We'll just type in localhost here and verify that Apache is still running. So it works. So now you have a desktop and a server. Uh, perhaps you can use this as a development machine. Uh, you can make web pages uh, and um, check and make sure that they all still work. Thank you.